Well, we went shopping early. <laughs> oh, we did a three door, three door, three store shop. Well, technically a five store shop. Let me explain. So we went to the Superstore, Walmart, Giant Tiger. Those were the big ones. Kitty Food and the Bulk Barn. Five store shop. Now I'm shopping on a Friday. Totally weird, I know. Mostly because it was raining this morning and it's gonna be nicer for the rest of the weekend and there's just a lot of house stuff that needs to get done. So I figured might as well go shopping before work because I have the time. So it's a little bit messy, but let me show you what we did, okay? Let's start with Giant Tiger. So Giant Tiger, we grabbed the mayonnaise because it was on sale. This was actually a restock, both of these, because we ran out, like totally ran out, gone. Grab some more plum sauce because uh, I like to make chicken fingers and this is just not a recipe that I've been able to master at all. Like, not at all. Just doesn't work. Grab some oven ready lasagna. Now that's just for dinner that I'm gonna be having here in a couple of weeks and I don't have any lasagna noodles ready. And I decided to cheat and I got the oven ready ones. We got two packages of Country Harvest bagels, everything bagel and just a plain one. I was hoping they had sunflower, sunflower? Sesame seed for Fred, cause he likes sesame seed, but these will work, but they were on sale. They had a limit of five of those, but we don't need five. And the Italiano bread, this stuff we don't get very often because it's normally really expensive, but it tastes fabulous. Now I got white, normally we buy whole wheat bread most of the time, but I like the white bread of this version so much better. It just tastes good. And I got one treat. You ready? I got flakies. <laughs> Did I need the flakies? No, but I got the flakies. They were on sale. I like flakies. All right. Let me get this Giant Tiger stuff out of the way and I'll show you what else we got. I forgot something at Giant Tiger. <laughs> the chicken was on sale. So all of these three really big size chicken breasts, these guys were on sale for, oh gosh, what was it? $7.97? I'll check. I'll put it right here for you so you can see. But I got two packages of these. Now this is six meals for us because there's three large in each package. All right, next is... Walmart. Can you tell butter was on sale? <laughs> so there was a limit of four, so I grabbed all four. Got our peppercorns, because I'm running out. Cornstarch, because once again, I'm running out. And then I got the miso lime ginger pure this time. Um, neat thing is, these are on clearance for a dollar. And there were one dollar coupons sitting there for this. So part of our little... Uh, grocery haul this week is we're going to marinate a couple of those chicken breasts in this and see how they come out. I grabbed a beef stock. This was for a reason because this massive beef sirloin tip steak was on double discount from $30.52 to $17. That means that we can make our beef vegetable soup. Yay! That's the reason why I bought the beef broth. And the big bag of the mixed vegetables. This is the two kilo bag and these are $5.97. It's actually a really, really good price for these massive bags. And I also got my Tammy coffee. So I also went, since we're talking about the soup, to the bulk barn. Now this is the um, bone broth, the beef bone broth you can get from the bulk barn. This stuff is not cheap, but you do not need much of it. This will last me like the year, like easily. This came to $17 and change. This is also what we're gonna use for the vegetable beef soup. So that's gonna be like a canning video. I'll, you guys will see it here, hopefully soon. I'm trying to catch up on a couple of videos. <laughs> oh, I will get there, I promise. But anyway, we wanted to make some vegetable beef soup for jars so we have actually some good, nice hearty soup for the winter time. So that's what the beef broth is for. Alrighty. And this is the Superstore. So medium ground beef is on sale. Now it's $12.43 for this great big package, but this is easily gonna be like five meals for us. So it actually works out for us to be a good price. Not bad at all. We got sandwich meat for Fred, the sub trio. Now I still have that big package of ham in the fridge as well that we bought the last time we went shopping. And I haven't opened it yet because we had a big turkey breast that needed to be eaten, so. I only grabbed the one, so between this and the ham, that'll last Fred for the next two weeks for work. 
Guess what? <laughs> More butter. So the butter at the Superstore was on sale for $4.99, so I did grab three more. This, the Walmart butter that we bought, and the butter in the freezer, this will last us, I swear, till Christmas, so we will be good. Mission accomplished. But we also got some cheap stuff. <laughs> Half price off, $4.31, which means I paid $2.15 for these four little marinated drumsticks. $3.45 for these uh, drumette chicken wings. And $3.35, sorry, for these three marinated maple bacon flavored boneless skinless chicken thighs. This is three more meals for a really good price. Grabbed two more milk. Now I should have grabbed three because there was a points deal, so I am going to go back and get one more. It's a uh, cumulative points deal on the um, PC Optimum points card, so I only need one more, and that'll give me $4 back in points, which is, like, phenomenal. And we have member pricing on our sugar. So $1.99 a bag. There was a limit of four, but I only grabbed the two. I don't need a lot of sugar. This, between what we have and these two, this will actually last me clear through pa past Christmas. Makes me happy. That's all that matters. So the butter deal, yeah, when butter's on sale, I grab it. That actually, and don't think I'm crazy. Don't look at me weird, all right? Just saying. I have 10 pounds of butter now. Yeah, I know it's a lot, but butter's not cheap. I don't eat margarine. So when it's on sale, I'm going to get it. Now, the good thing is, remember the uh, oil bottle we bought together now, gosh, what, three months ago, four months ago? No idea why or when. Haven't got a clue. Don't remember. Anyway, psh, that's not here nor there. When I bought the bottle, I'm actually using the oil now for more cooking as opposed to butter. So the butter is actually lasting longer, which is a good thing. Because before, it was just a pain. Go get the big oil bottle, kick it out, take the little bit of oil I want for cooking. No, that little bottle, when it comes to um, just economics, when it comes to cooking, that's turned out to be a fabulous idea. Okay, so we've had the chicken marinating in that what turned out to be free <laughs> craft um, miso marinade. So we're going to clean up some carrots and turnip. By the way, aside from the fact that it's got some nibbles, this is what happens <laughs> when you don't thin your carrots. They took a while to get out. All right, I'm going to tidy these up, put it all on the sheet pan, and yes, I'm reusing the parchment. I'm not going to waste it. It was only buns, bread, big deal. All right, I'm going to clean up these veggies because they're still covered in dirt and get dinner on the go. Well, all ready for the oven. So I just realized I've got this Asian-inspired marinade happening on the chicken, but I have no Asian-inspired anything for the veggies. So, oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. Alrighty, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Well, grilling them might have been a better idea, but the chicken itself isn't burnt. It's just the uh, marinade that was on the paper. But, smells wonderful. Whoops, steamy. <laughs> but it smells pretty good, so we'll see how it comes out. Well, everybody, so it's been a couple of days and I kind of have to redo my little this is how it came out on the chicken because I totally screwed up the end of that video. Twice. Yeah. So here's the conversation we're going to have. Marinating chicken. Do you marinate chicken? Because I was thoroughly surprised. It was moist. You know when you, mar you know, sorry, you know when you bake like um, chicken breast, it comes out dry. It has great flavor. On a tray bake like that, it comes out a little drier. I just, why, why in my own head have I never marinated chicken breast before, before I put it on a tray bake? Like seriously. Never thought of that. Now that actual craft dressing was that, well, it's like a marinade dressing sauce thing you can use it apparently for lots of different things um the miso 
wasn't as overpowering as I thought it was going to be. And it actually tasted pretty good. Even Fred liked it. So not bad. Now that I'm thinking back, though, I probably really should have tossed the veggies in it, too. As opposed to just, you know, the salt, pepper, garlic like I usually do. I really should have tried it. Because it probably would have added a lot to the veggies. Now, my problem with the veggies is, is that I probably should have put those in first and then put the chicken on after. Hey, live and learn. It's called not paying attention. And I actually honestly thought that I cut the veggies up small enough. They weren't raw. They just had a little bit more bite to them than I like. But anyway, get back to the point here, Tammy. Marinating chicken. So... I've done like the quick little marinades, you know, for stir fries and fried rice, you know, the chicken with the garlic and the soy and the ginger and the yada yada, the cornstarch for like a stir fry and a fried rice all the time. But I've never, never thought of just marinating chicken. Like seriously, I have more cookbooks you can shake stick at. And do you think I've actually ever done a marinade on a chicken like that? No, because apparently this thing up here, doesn't function that way. <laughs> so here's my question. Has anyone ever brined a chicken? Now I'm told brining chickens put a lot of moisture and things in them. And I'm thinking I might try that next. Like, I don't know, crack open the cookbooks, Tammy. It's not like I haven't read every single cookbook I own. Like seriously, even the Julia Childs. You want to read a cookbook? Oh my gosh, read Julia Childs. <laughs> all right so anyway point being i think we're gonna have to try that later we might have to try brining a chicken because i'm kind of curious now if this chick here can get that to work so anyway that was our little shopping haul this is what i spent Ta -da! including the 17 dollars at the bulk barn for the bone broth but stuff is tasty it's handy and you'll see what we're going to use it for here right soon <laughs> Alrighty, everybody, that was our quick little shopping trip. I should have taken you with me, but it was like a mad dash, five different stores, all in the morning before I had to go to work. So get in there, get her done, get home, get to work. So, all right, everyone, have a great day. Let me know if you've ever brined a chicken. Let me know if you've got a great recipe for a brine or link it. Send me a comment. Let me know. Is it worth it? I might have to try it. All right, we'll see you next time as we do our simpler life here on PEI and this chick's going to bed. <laughs> Good night, all.